JetBrains IDEs provide us with lots of features when it comes to refactoring. If we'll open up global search panel by pressing shift twice and then execute command called refactor this, we'll get such dialog where we have several options to do different refactorings. And as you can see, some of these options already have keyboard shortcuts assigned to them. But I actually prefer to assign new keyboard shortcuts where leader key will be used. So I'm gonna switch over to dot IDIVMRC configuration file and add several new mappings. The first mapping will be responsible for renaming certain element. The identifier is called rename element. I'm going to use space RN to call this refactoring. The second refactoring will be used to extract certain functionality in a separate method. I'm gonna use space RM to do this refactoring. Next refactoring option allows us to extract certain expression or value in the new variable. I'm going to use space RV to do this refactoring. Next refactoring is pretty similar to the previous one, but in this case, instead of extracting certain expression or value in a separate variable, it will extract it in a separate class field. I'll use space RF to do this refactoring. Another refactoring will be change signature. This refactoring will basically allow us to change signature of methods. And I'm going to use space RS to do this refactoring. And finally, last mapping that I'm going to add in this lesson will be responsible for opening up the panel where all possible refactoring options are listed. I'm going to use space RR to open up the dialog with refactoring options. And after sourcing configuration file, let's try to use all of these keyboard shortcuts. So the first one is space RN. When we'll press this sequence of keys, we'll call the refactoring to rename variable. Here we can type new variable name, press enter, and the new variable name will be applied. Moving on to the next refactoring, which is extract method. For example, if I'll firstly select some logic and then press space R M, I'll get additional window where I can choose which expression exactly I would like to extract in a separate method. And after pressing enter, we'll see that that part that we have chosen has been extracted into a separate method. For the next refactoring, which is introducing variable, we also have to Firstly, select certain expression or value and press space RF. And we will see that the new variable has been created with that value that we have previously selected. The next refactoring is also related to extracting values, but this time not in a local variable, but in a class field instead. And to do it, I'll have to select the value to be extracted first and press space RF. F, and we'll see that the new class field has been created with this value assigned to it. To demonstrate the next refactoring option, which is changing signature of methods, I'm going to create new method in here, and then while having my cursor on top of this method, I'm going to press space RS. We'll get this additional window where we can modify signature. Here we can change access modifier of the method its return type, as well as its name. And when we press refactor, we'll see that the changes have been applied. And finally, last keyboard shortcut is used to open up the dialog with all available refactoring options. So if I'll press space RR, I'll get this dialog where I can manually choose which kind of refactoring I would like to perform. And that's about it. We will continue adding keyboard shortcuts in the next lessons.